You know how sometimes you say something you really don't mean? Oh, I do. <laughs> My character, Liz, who's the obnoxious cat lady that lives upstairs from the main characters with IBS. Okay, that's one of the first things she'll want you to know. She accidentally marries Russell. I'll pronounce you man and wife. Ow! They were on a cruise with the red hat ladies. And you know, those women can drink. Okay, so that's what happened. They got drunk and got married. And someone wants to get out and someone wants to hold on really tight. Guess who that is? <laughs> what I will say, once you get into Liz's web, it's really hard to unstick yourself. You remember my cousin Rita? <gasps> Rita! Annie! It's not just women in comedy. That's not a new thing. She has three kids now. Three boys. They're so cute. <laughs> they are cute, but when they reach that age, they're disgusting. They smell, they're sticky, they say things that are horrible, and they're all over everything, okay? For a while, it seems like we lost sight of a lot of funny women because the casting has been so boring. Over the past decade, I swear on the Bible, it seems like we keep seeing the same 10 people in every movie. Kevin can only have sex in bed, in the dark, under the covers, only after we've showered. And this, Bridesmaids in particular, but other things like The Help, Horrible Bosses, you start to see other people who are worthy of just as much attention and who are maybe funnier and fresher because they're not in the tabloids all the time. And not only that, how many remakes do we have to see? This was a funny, fresh, original script that went to some ugly, embarrassing places, and the actresses in this film had no vanity about any of it. So I think that helped. Excuse me, um, could I have a glass of alcohol when you get a chance? Two double seven and sevens. Is that? You'll like it. It's sweet. <laughs>